Hi, it's Robin here from Intelligent Point of Sale and in this video I'm going to show you how to use modifiers. So if you go to the settings area and into products, then find the product that you wish to apply modifiers to. So in this case we're going to go for a stake. If we select product modifiers, you can see that a list of all of your products will appear. So if you don't already have the modifiers programmed into your system, you can just simply add them as zero priced products first, and then they will appear in the modifiers window. You can search through your products quite quickly up here, um, or you can just scroll through them down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the cooking temperature options for the steak which I have pre-programmed in as zero price items. Click next. If we wanted to charge for all the items, we could do this and it would charge at the default selling price. Um, as I've put the price for these products in at zero, obviously this is being populated with zero. We're not gonna charge for these um, as these are our free options, but you could do a mixture of of charged and free options. For instance, if you wanted to have a source option to go with the steak um, or an upgrade on perhaps the type of, of chips that come with the steak. So we're gonna leave this switch to off and we are going to turn the force modifier selection switch to on. So what this does is this forces the member of staff to choose a modifier when they are selling a product. Um, so this is ideal so that the, the kitchen will receive the cooking temperature instruction always. And we can also enter the maximum amount of modifiers by putting a number into this field. So what this will do is this will only allow the user to select the amount of modifiers that you determine. So if it is purely the cooking temperature, um, we only really want to be having the staff selecting one cooking temperature. So we're going to put one in the box and then this will automatically dismiss the modifier window. So if I save that, that is the uh, modifiers applied to the steak. And if I quickly add the steak to the, the mains layout, add a product, add the steak, And I can show you this in action. And you can see that each time that you select the product, the instruction is select one modifier. And if we select the modifier, it will automatically dismiss the window.